Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. As we take a look at my ABRSM Grade 6 Music Theory lessons, which are available on my Patreon channel, we now turn to question 3B, having a look at exercise 1. In this particular question, we are now required to compose a short melody in a freer style. And in this particular exercise, we have a trumpet fanfare beginning in the key of G major. We may modulate as we wish or not. In this case, I suggest modulating to the dominant key before then returning to end in the tonic key. Of course, we must maintain the stylistic features given to us in the opening extract. And we must also bear in mind the range and technical requirements of the instrument that we are composing for. The full lesson can be found on my Patreon channel. If you visit patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill, you can find the full lesson there and you can find links to this lesson in the cards and in the description box below. After this short little video, you can see sample examples taken from this full lesson showing you how I explain all the points for consideration and everything you need to understand step by step, just as if I were sitting right next to you. Everything you need to understand this advanced level music theory can be found in my Harmony and Composition textbook. This book is available from Amazon and you can find links to this in the cards in the description box also. Enjoy your studies. So we've got an obvious sort of tonic chord, G, D, and we would expect to find lots of arpeggio shapes, lots of fifths, because of that bugle kind of fanfare sound. This is kind of going to be our halfway point, so we'd expect to have kind of um, a, an imperfect cadence in our tonic key here. So we want sort of a chord 5 in the tonic key here, and then we'll expect ordinarily to move on to then modulate into the, the dominant key. But I might just try something a little bit different and so we'll sort of weave around and then my intention is to come back to the tonic key again so that we'll finish on a 5-1 in G major. So we've got this kind of dum da da dum ba da da dum <laughs> As you can tell I am not a singer. It's important to just hum through the general idea. However, if you're not particularly in pitch, on pitch, I should say, then it's okay so long as you're aware of the chords that you're implying, you know that what you will be writing will sound okay. The D is common to both, so that could be one or five. And then is that chord one in G major or is it chord one in D major? It's a little bit of both. So we've sort of gone into D major here, haven't we? With a five one, so we're, back, we're in D major, five one here. So we know we're kind of, so I'll just sort of, da, 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 da. So we know we're writing things that will make sense. Let's give that an accent as well, because we're accenting the offbeat nature of this. So we've gone sort of one, five, one, D, keeping the harmonies very basic. Da, da, da. So we're ending on a D. So if we're in D major, that's a 5, 1, isn't it, actually? We've already modulated to D major in the middle, haven't we? So that would be... Dum, ba, dum, bum. Let's make that staccato. So that they would be accented. We might as well pop those in. Da, da. Let's accent that. That's it. I'm just going to make a bit of a feature of this arpeggio style. Dum, ba, da. Let's do this fifth. Da, 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 da. So they would be accented, of course. So for in D major, it's chord one, isn't it? Let's have that staccato accent. But let's now just kind of bring things to a more triumphal 
close and we'll jump the octave instead of going down to the G we'll jump we'll jump up to the top G so that's your chord one F sharp is your chord five back home to one I think we can definitely have a a nice long semi breathe it's going to be fast that semi breathe is going to be over in no time da, da, da. so that would be accented and slurred just to follow da, 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 da. Da, da, da. There we go. I think that's enough there. We don't want crescendos. He's already double F. Let's give the trumpet player's lip some respect.